Hi, my name is Bart Polson, and I'm going to take a few minutes to show how to do a bivariate scatter plot in SPSS version 17. Now, SPSS used to stand for Statistical Package for the Social Sciences, but most recently they decided to change their name to PASW, which is what you'll see up in the corner over here, which stands for Predictive Analytics Software. Go figure. Anyhow, we're going to show you how to do this. I am doing this in version 17 on my Macintosh. However, it is 99.9% .9 the same in the Windows version, uh, and most of what I'm going to do is exactly the same in all previous versions of SPSS, down to at least version 12 that I've worked with. Anyhow, the first thing we need to do is open up a data set. I'm going to use one that already exists in SPSS, so if you've got it, you can follow along. Well, the first, what I do is I come over here to under file to the file folder to open up a data document. I click on that and SPSS has a bunch of data files already and you might have to dig through the folders to find them a little bit but here they are. I'm going to go to one that's near the end that is called world95.save. It's some global statistics from 1995. The .sav is the suffix for an SPSS data file. So I'm going to open that one up. It does this little whooshy thing. And what I have is statistics for 109 different countries from Afghanistan through Georgia, through Peru, down through Zambia. And the United States is in there on line 102. A bunch of statistics on population, population density, the percent who live in urban, the predominant religion in the area. This one is life expectancy for women, life expectancy for men, the uh, literacy rate, the percentage of people who read, population increase, infant mortality, and so on and so forth, daily calories. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick two of these variables um, and show you how to do a bivariate scatter plot. So the first thing I'm going to do so I'm going to come over here to graphs. Now, um, SPSS has a fancy new thing called Chart Builder, um, and you can learn to use it if you want. However, since most of the previous versions do not have that, and truthfully it's not what I'm accustomed to, I'm going to come down here to Legacy Dialogs. And I'm going to come down to this bottom one right here, near the bottom, that's called Scatter and Dot Plot. All right, so Graphs, Legacy Dialogs, Scatter, Dot. Click on that, and I'm given a choice of several different kinds of scatter plots. This is the kind I'm going to use. It's just a regular x and y axis. This is if you have a whole bunch of variables you want to use, and maybe we'll do that some other time. And here are some other versions. This one's kind of neat. It's a three-dimensional scatter plot. But I'm just going to stay with a simple one right here, the simple scatter, which is already selected. You can tell that by the thick black border around it. I'm going to press Define, and it's going to ask me for the variables. Now, over here is a big list of all of the variables. The ones with the little rulers next to them mean that they are scaled variables or measured variables, uh, indicating more or less in certain units. Uh, this one, on the other hand, is a categorical variable, and so is this one with the, with the dots. Uh, truthfully, you can stick just about anything in a scatter plot, though it's only with the ranked and the measured variables that's going to make sense. Anyhow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the relationship between literacy which I'm going to put on the x-axis because I'm going to use it, that's across the bottom, I'm going to use it as a predictor, and the average female life expectancy on the y-axis. So I'm using literacy to predict women's life expectancy. Now, um, what I'm going to do before I uh, move ahead is I'm going to put a title on this. You should always, always, I always title your charts. And so I'm going to put here literacy and women's life Oops, Expect, expectancy for 109 countries. Good. I'm going to press continue. And then I'm just going to come down here and press OK. All right. This is the SPSS output window. If you're accustomed to uh, Excel, it, it sticks everything on the same spreadsheet. SPSS does it differently. The data is on one page, the output comes on another page. There's also something called a syntax page, which is somewhere else. Uh, truthfully, I find this to be convenient, but um, anyhow, what I have right here is this gives us the code for what we just did, the syntax, and uh, at another point I'll show why that's handy to have. 
But this is the scatter plot right here. This one right here. And what you can see is that this is the percentage of people who can read across the bottom. It goes from zero right here up to a hundred right here. And you can tell there's a lot of people uh, centered right on a hundred. Uh, most countries have very high literacy rates. Average female life expectancy here, you know, the tragedy is some of these places are as low as, you know, 40 something. Um, but uh, a larger number go up into the 80s. Now, this is the default uh, scatter plot. However, there's a few things I want to do that I think make it a much more informative and better chart. Um, to edit this chart, you have to double click on it and it brings up an editing window. So I'm going to click twice on the chart and then I'm in a uh, chart editor window. You can see that right here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a regression line through it, a straight line through the data, which I think is should always be a first step. I can do that by just clicking on this thing right here that says add fit line at total. That just means add a straight regression line. So I click that and there comes a line right through the data. This is uh, what's called the least squares uh, regression line. It's the most common one. And I'm going to do just two more things here. Number one, I think that charts are to give general impressions and not necessarily to give specifics. And so something that I don't want is this thing here that talks about the R squared linear. This says 0.749. By the way, that's a very high association. You can tell by how closely things adhere to the regression line. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that little thing there once to select it. And then I'm just going to delete it because I don't want it there. The other one is I think it's a little easier to look at the chart if you change the way that the dots appear. These ones are black circles and, you know, truthfully, uh, the circles I don't quite understand. So what I'm going to do is, uh, strangely enough, you can't choose to have them be just a dot. So I'm going to keep them as a circle, but what I'm going to do then is I'm going to make the circles really small, size 3, that's as small as it goes. I'm going to make the border a little bigger and I'm going to make it red. And when I click that, that tells me a little bit what it's going to look like. Um, you have to press apply in the editor uh, windows to make anything happen. So I press apply and ta-da, there I am with a bunch of small red dots. And with a black regression line, it's much easier to read it all. So I'm going to press close on this one over here. Close. And this is the editing window. It's still open, and I need to close that one as well. So I'm just going to come up here to the, on my Mac, it's the red dot. On Windows, there will be a, a little Xbox over here, I believe. But I close on that one, and there's my scatter plot. We see that it's a strong uphill trend that countries with higher literacy rates tend to have substantially longer female life expectancies. And there's a number of reasons why that may be the case, uh, often just having to do with the level of development and education and health in the, available in the country. But this is a great chart for showing a strong association between the two variables. A little bit later, we'll go over how to calculate the regression, the, the actual statistical numerical description of the relationship, as well as look at some other perspectives on the data. Thank you.